lift up our voice and thank God for all of his blessings upon our lives. Has God been blessing you? Has God been blessing your family? Lift up your voice and thank him for every bit of the blessing you have experienced as a person, as a family, as an individual. God's blessing upon your life, upon your family, upon your household, upon your work. You are not where you used to be. A change is taking place for you because of the blessing. The irresistible blessing, the unfailing blessing has been making manifest upon your life. Let God hear your voice of gratitude. Thank him from the depths of your heart. My father, I give you praise for all of your blessings. For your blessings upon my life, upon my wife, upon my children, upon this church, upon the winner's family. I return glory to you for every blessings, for every blessing. Oh, we say thank you for your unfailing blessing, confirming it with words, confirming it with proofs, confirming your word with proofs, with evidence, with realities. We say thank you for your blessings that has wiped away tears from the face of the winner's family. We give you praise for your blessings that has guaranteed progress, for your blessings that has brought honor, for your blessings that is making life fulfilling, making life exciting. My Father, I say thank you for all the blessings, for all the blessings. We give you praise, O oh God. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. Out of them shall proceed for thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry, I will multiply them. And they shall not be small. I will also glorify them and they shall not be few. Watch out. God will increase you a thousand times with more blessings. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your blessing level is changing gear. Your favor level is changing gear. Your blessing level is changing gear. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please take your seat. Compelling the blessing to manifest. Every blessing ordained for you must be compelled into manifestation. On the contrary, many believers have been watching when God will do it. Anytime he does it, no problem. I know he will do it one day. He never fails. He never lies. You are still saying the truth. But every blessing that must answer in your life must be compared. He said, Amen. <laughs> every blessing that must answer in your life must be activated. Every blessing that must answer in your life must be triggered. He said in his word, by my word, command ye me. Meaning, put me to action. So is something that will make me do something. If you say nothing, I do nothing. By my word. That's what hit me last week. Command ye me. If you want me to do it, say it so that I will go into action. Don't watch it. You don't watch the blessing. You trigger the blessing.
every blessing we desire or we require has already been provided. Thanks be unto God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all manner of spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. So the blessings are already existing but they need a trigger. They need a quickening. The same way you use your mouth to call trouble, you will have used your mouth to call blessing. Hidden in the tongue is the power of life and death. He said, them that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You can call progress. You can call success. You can call favor. You can call help us. You can call breakthrough. Anything you want, you can call. Before the calling, there must be the scene. Any blessing you don't see exist, you can't call it. Somebody asked me today, what's special about this refuge self? Why is their own thing always different? Well, we have set our own spiritual atmosphere. Do you agree with me? <laughs> I disagree with their philosophy. Why I choose to disagree with their philosophy, the spiritual, the date, the Jesus we come, we control the physical. If you see it natural, it will go natural for you. But if you see it spiritual, it will be spiritual for you. The blessings we are talking about are already existing spiritually. Who has blessed all with all manner of spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. They are already existing. But I want you to know the supernatural is our natural habitat. He that is born of the flesh is flesh. And he that is born of the spirit is what? Spirit. The wind blow it where it listed. You don't know where it's coming from, neither where it's going to. The only thing you are seeing is the effect. Hear me? Every blessing you must call into manifestation, you must believe that they are already existing. They are already existing. And since they exist, and they are required for your well-being, Hear me? You must call them forth. Who has the book Blessed Beyond Limits? Go and buy it. Favor. She no call church. Oh, she's outside. Okay. She should go and buy that book. Blessed Beyond Limits. Hear me? You are designed to be blessed beyond limits. So go to the market tomorrow. I will advertise the book on Sunday. Blessed beyond limits. So that you don't look at your environment as your enemy. You don't look at your environment as your limitation. You don't look at people, the way I see these people's face, their face is too hard. They can't bless. Their face is not what is releasing your blessing. Your mouth is what is releasing your blessing. Knowing that the blessing exists, knowing that the blessing is available, knowing that God will not withhold it from you. Platform number one. Withhold not good from whom it is due. When it is in thy power of thy hand to act, 
do not say to your neighbor, go and come tomorrow when you have it right there with you. Ignorance of the existence of the blessing will increase your frustration. When you don't know that blessing is existing, you live frustrated. You bring yourself under self-pity. You now make people to feel as if that uh, you, they are the reason why you are not getting it. But I will show you something about the blessing. The blessing is the word. So you can't stop the word. Can you stop the word? God says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It shall not return unto me void. It shall accomplish and prosper in the thing wheresoever I command it. Wheresoever I send it. So if God can withhold, Satan cannot resist. If God cannot withhold, Satan cannot say, no, this blessing cannot enter his hand. Call it first. The blessing is coming with hot coal or fire. It can burn any winch hand. Because in the blessing is the word. Now, I want you to picture these two scenarios. If I say to someone, you are cursed, will the person be cursed? What carry the cost to the person? Words sponsor spiritual actions. Words sponsor spiritual actions. Now let me put it this way. Causes are demonic power mandated to pursue after a person that has been caused. Causes are demonic power or demonic forces mandated to pursue after a person that is caused. Causes are demonic energy with a mandate to devour a person that has been caused. So once a person is caused, this demonic force is say, that person, okay, let's go after him. They make sure they rip, strip the person naked. They make sure they devour the person and tear the person empty. The person has been cursed. Likewise also, blessings are spiritual forces released by the power of the Spirit to ensure that the plan and purpose of God for your life come into manifestation. Blessings are spiritual. Oh, the blessing is a spiritual power. It can cause you to prevail where others are traveling. It doesn't matter your location. When the blessing is released upon your life, in the realm of the spirits, things are released in your favor. Doors are open in your favor. Do you know what? I have discovered in real practice that every time a blessing is proclaimed, help us go after the blessing to make sure it comes to pass in your life. Anytime a blessing is released, it locates an executor. Likewise, anytime a curse is released, it locates someone that will fast forward the manifestation. Anytime a blessing is released, the angels of God, the spirit of God, hey, you are the one meant for this blessing to come to pass for this person. They will look at you as the helpers of the blessings. But it becomes also effectual when you yield your mouth, yield your voice to the blessings that are in the world. I'm going forward. You are calling the blessing. I will prosper. You are calling the blessing. My ways shall be ways of plant pleasantness. My path shall drop fatness. You are calling the blessing. If you say to yourself, "Man, things are hard, though," and just to make sure he has said it, too, let's make things hard for him. 
block the road. Say not before an angel is an error. You can't say it's an error. Man, just is getting more and more tight. And just to make sure that your own, it will be tighter. Why? Because you are calling tight. You are calling, they will tie you rope, you will become tight very well. They will, they will squeeze you. Why? You are vomiting what you want to see. Oh, I love the way Bishop Abiyemi, Pastor Abiyemi put it. He said, whatever you don't want to see, don't say it. But whatever you want to see, say it. Whatever you want to see, do what? Market is not moving. They will make sure they create roadblock for you. Oh yeah, nobody should enter here. Everybody they go like this. Why? You use your mouth to draw bad market. So our mouth is the compeller of the blessing. Much more importantly, what guarantees the compelling of the blessing is your faith. Tell your neighbor faith. There is a spiritual alignment between faith and the blessing. There is a spiritual alignment between faith and the blessing. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto what? Salvation. So you use your mouth to call their blessing. You use your mouth to call their blessing. You use your mouth to call their blessing upon your work, upon your family, upon your children. Should I tell you something? Your word of blessing prevail over your children. <laughs> Even if Satan wants to manipulate them to go negative, because you are prophesying the blessing, even when they see the negative, the thing will just strike on them. The blessing will change their direction. Blessing has power. Blessing has power. We have it, but we have not been using it. We are t- Should I tell you something? Many people are looking for it outside. Why the thing is inside? Many are looking for it outside. That is in America. Maybe it's in Abuja. Or it's in Lagos. No. It's not outside. Tell your neighbor, it's inside. Everything you are expecting is inside. Tell your neighbor, it is inside. So when you see it inside, you draw. You draw. You are drawing from the tank. Why? Because you have been storing the word. The entrance of the word giveth light. You have been storing the word. Let the word of Christ dwell within you richly. You have been storing the word. As you are storing the word, you are storing the blessing. Now, you need to begin to draw it out one by one, compelling it to come out. My ways shall deliver abundance. I will experience amazing favor. I will experience amazing breakthrough. You are calling it, it must answer. I will experience amazing supply. You are calling it, it must answer. I must be married before December 2017. Father, you are not a liar. Wherever that my husband is, I command your manifestation. Any power saying you will not come, by the blood of Jesus, I break the barrier. You are calling the blessing. You are calling the blessing. Are you saying now? Even if you have been seeing only wrong, wrong people, it's because your thought has not shifted from wrong, wrong people to right, right people. All the people where they call now disappointment, disappointment. So even if one is coming, the first thing you picture is disappointment. If any brother is coming, the first thing they see, disappointment. It's just say never be, never be like the other people. So you must call it forth. You must call it. Much more importantly, now that you are surrounded with too many mysteries, the mystery of the blood. The mystery of the blood of sprinkling. The mystery of communion. The mystery of the anointing oil. So anything you fail to call, you live without. If you live without the blessing, it's because you fail to call the blessing. Let the weak say, I am strong. 
if you want to live strong, constraint. By his stripes, I am healed. You don't say, I am sick. Somebody said the other day that uh, I have typhoid fever. I said, you don't have the capacity to manufacture typhoid fever. Because it's not part of re your redemptive benefits. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Do you have capacity to manufacture typhoid fever? Good. <laughs> so, since you don't have the capacity, you don't have it. You can only have what you have capacity to manufacture. Christ in you does not guarantee typhoid fever. I might say something to somebody. You are not permitted to say, I am broke. Who broke you? Who broke you? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I am broke is like a slang, but it's very injurious. It can wound you. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It is better to say, I am rich. My God shall supply all my needs. According to his riches in glory, my supply is coming. You hear me? Trigger your mouth for action. We have in the same spirit of faith. We believe, therefore we speak. Let me say this. Do you know why the blessing I have not answered for some people? They are afraid whether it will work. They know not. Neither will they understand. All the foundation of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. They know not. Neither will they understand. He said, all oh, the foundation of the earth are gone out of what? Course. You hear me? If these are going off course, your mouth is making it go off course. Check it. Any house where things are scattering, there is someone that is using his mouth to scatter the things. Any business that is working, there is someone that is using his mouth to arrange the things that will work. Anything you say, either commit God or commit Satan. I learned that from Dr. Bill Wiston. Words attract spirits. You either attract the spirit of God or you attract Satan. Words attract what? If you are saying good words, you are attracting the spirit of God. If you are saying evil words, you are trying witchcraft and demons. Every word you say determine the hands that work for you. Every word. Do you know that someone can compel himself to die? Yes, now. Nah. Remember the other day, uh, one mama came and said, Pastor, I just feel like that. I said, Will you get out of my office now? I can't pity your age. Will you get out of my office? My, uh, my office is not where they report for suicide. He said, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, I said, keep quiet. Because if you say it, forces will make it happen for you. You already use your mouth to compel death. Pastor, I'm, I'm just tired of his life. Eh? The thing we go, when life leaves you, you are gone. May it never come out of your mouth. I'm tired of this life. You didn't give yourself life. God gave you life. And he said, with long life will I satisfy you. If you are satisfied, just retire. 
Angels will just come and bring your bullion back. But he said, with long life. I had Copeland said, I signed for 120. He said, I will be here till 120. Everything you say, you picture. Everything you say sticks into your consciousness. Everything you say, you begin to feel. Have you not heard? Some people say, I'm feeling that uh, I, will see, I will be sick. Who have heard that before? Anytime you begin to feel it, the thing is already there. You are feeling it because you have imported it. I'm, the, way I'm, the way I'm feeling now, I'm feeling like malaria has come. It uh, is already there. So you are not feeling it. It's already there. You hear me? Use your mouth to call blessing. Use your mouth to call favor. Use your mouth to call opportunity. Use your mouth to call progress. Use your mouth to call help us. Also use your mouth to trigger turn around. Things can turn around for you. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. See everything turning around. Do you know what? What we say sets a tide. What we call tide is spiritual cloud. We can set a spiritual cloud round about us. Round about our life. Do you know why this place is different? Every time I stay here, I picture blessing. So I prophesy blessing. I release favor. I command open door. I command financial supply. I decree turn around. I release progress. That's what I want to see. So I'm calling it. Who collect those things that be not as though they are? They are not there, but it's existing, so you call it. He collect those things that be not as though they are. You must call it. So as Abraham was calling it, he was compelling it. His physical form notwithstanding, whatever you call in the realm of the spirit must answer. I say to one, go and they go, and to another, come and they come. As soon as they hear of me, they shall submit themselves unto me, and the stranger shall fade away. It's time to be spiritual. I say it's time to be spiritual. We have walked all along in carnality. That's why I look as if this thing is not working. Our carnality has overshadowed our spirituality. But it's time to do what we call superposition. You superimpose your spirituality. And before you know what's happening, you walk in that consciousness. I am made for the blessing. I will see the blessing. I am made for outstanding favor. I will see outstanding favor. Hear me? Have you heard? Why is it that nobody likes me? In yourself, you hate yourself. Before someone said that, why is it that the Lord like? It's a lie. Inside the person is a volume of what we call hatred. You hate yourself. They say charity begins at home. Like yourself first. Like attracts like. Are you around the same now? Anything you want to see coming, create it first. You see, the remaining days of this year, it will be amazing months for you. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Do you know what? If you say a witch will not operate, they will not operate. If you say they will fail, they will fail. Because that provision in scripture is there. Surely they shall gather, but not by me. Anyone that gather against me, they shall fall. 
Wherever they have gathered because of me, I decree they shall fall. They shall fail. Their plans will fail. It's in the word. It's in the word. And should I tell you something? God will give it a stamp. Confirm my son. Confirm my son. So whatever you want to see, call it. Before it must work, there must be what we call purging. You can't be loaded with chaff and be calling good things. You can't pour a new wine skin in an old wine. No way. Before it must work, you must purge. Sanctify yourself. For tomorrow, the Lord shall do amazing things in your midst. If it's not working, there is something hindering the flow. There is something doing what? Hindering the flow. But if you don't want the flow to be hindered, clean up. Purge yourself. When you purge yourself, you will see the true picture. You will get the clear reality that these things are real. If it's working in others, you are not an exemption. If it's been confirmed in other people's life, it must also be confirmed in your life. God is not partial. Scripture said, this same Lord is good unto all and richly bless all that calls upon his name. He said, by my word, command ye me. Compel it. Compel me to action. Compel me to action. Put me to work. If you want me to work, say the things that will make me to work. I have my instruments for working. It is my word. He said again, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. Life has been made easy for us. I will do the very thing that I hear you say. Holy Ghost just told me something now. Do you know, I just had this one now, do you know you can be prophesying over your members that they will be paying tight in dollars? Somebody say, huh? You say, huh? Is he not working in Kenan land? Is he not working in Goshen? It must work here. I say it must work here. In the next one month, in the next two months, in the next three months, people will be paying tight in dollars. People will be paying tight in pounds. People will be paying tight in euros. Somebody is not saying an amen. What you say determine what God gets committed to. There is no dry place when there is loaded word. Any place that is dry, the place is empty of words. You hear me? Very soon. Say with me, very soon. My storehouse will change. My wardrobe will change. My feeding life will change. You are not even saying it with confidence. Say amen as if you know it is coming to pass now. I have exalted my word above my name. So don't expect it to fail. Now what do you want to see come to pass in your life? Is anybody holding your certificates? Is anybody holding your contract? Is any person delaying what is supposed to come to you? You can release it. I say you can release it. I say you can release it. I say you can release it. You are not saying amen as if you are sure. Is this word working? Is this word working? You will get more than you bargained for. How do I know? 
now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask that we ask or do what and Jesus said hitherto have you asked nothing meaning all the things you have been asking you have not asked me anything ask me something ask me something are you ready to call it this? Should I tell you something? There are prayers of intercession. There are prayers of prophecy. Now what we call prayers of prophecy, you take the word and you begin to declare it over your life. Over your family. Over your business. Over your career. That is prayer of prophecy. It's not every time when you are praying, Father, you are not a liar. I ask that you make a way for me. Now, that one is there. It's also said, by my word, command ye me. Son of man, prophesy. So you now, you now command a blessing. Hear me? Everything you say, angels are waiting to pick it. Scripture said, the angel of the Lord, they excel in strength. And they bring to binding the word of the Lord. So as you say it, they now pursue it. There is a place where this word must catch. There is someone this word must touch for it to find fulfillment. They begin to move. Shall I tell you something? The angels know who to connect for a door to open for you. They know who to connect for you to enter rest. They know who to connect for a prophecy to be fulfilled. Rise up to your feet. What guarantee words to come to pass is the empowerment of the Spirit. As this oil come upon you now, please be mindful of what you say. Because very soon you will enter into a new experience. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You will be experiencing strange favors. Strange doors of opportunity will open for you. Strange lifting will begin to come your way. Strange financial supply will begin to answer in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not putting anything on the board. You know what you want. Begin to call them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I call forth a new wave of God's wisdom. A new wave of God's wisdom. Wisdom that guarantee new dimensions of exploits. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call forth a new wave of God's grace. New wave of God's grace. The uncommon grace of God that guarantees strange dimensions of signs and wonders. Strange dimensions of miracles. New dimensions of power manifestation. New dimensions of power manifestations. New dimensions of exploits. New waves of manifestation of grace. A new dimension of the grace of God that guarantees strange signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call forth fresh oil for prophetic manifestation. Fresh oil for apostolic manifestation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call forth for fresh oil of supply. Fresh oil of favor, fresh oil of favor. Zekatuna and Tatariata, Shisone, Ekuta Predi, Jekloteria, Inkaka, Rekleteria, Zuna Tecatela, Jesus Igleberikata. I call forth for fresh dimension of supernatural supply. Supernatural supply, angelic supply. In the name of Jesus, I call forth for the dimension of speed that guarantees 
quick results. I call forth for the hand of God that guarantees speed of accomplishment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I refuse to be stagnated. I refuse to be on the same spots. My career will go forward. My business will go forward. In the name of Jesus, I am the righteous branch which the Lord has blessed. I will blossom like the palm tree. I will flourish like the cedar of Lebanon. Zekutani aretatana and zununu enkabrata. My parts will drop fatness. The lines will fall for me in pleasant places. And rutanan jigu zerate and prododo ezuru shiaketa in zoklate preketeliata jizono ekaka rikete jesusaki kuterota. Le kote predi iso sacre ketulia jeklo preketeriata nagaroto. I call forth for the marvelous help of God, the marvelous help of God, the marvelous help of the Spirit, the marvelous help of God. Jekusaria epanato emprada liako talete Jesus agagagagaga. I call forth for my destiny helpers. Whatever is delaying them, I break the barriers by fire. I break the barriers by fire. I call forth for my helpers of destiny. Jenota manane nekuta pra embrodono esuzeri katalata. Jekute kota bresuzekete every wall of limitation, every wall of limitation, be crushed by fire, be crushed by fire. Every wall of limitation, be crushed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every embargo of witchcraft, every embargo of witchcraft, every enchantment, be consumed by fire, be swallowed up by fire. My destiny must make progress. My career must make progress. My family must make progress. This church must advance. This church must blossom. This church must prosper. In the name of Jesus. Lekotabradiata, I call forth for the fresh outpouring of favor upon my life. I call forth for the fresh outpouring of favor upon my family. I call forth for the fresh outpouring of favor upon Living Faith Church Refuge. Zerushi Panato and Zekeketeriata and Prapa and Ruza Nekleketo Zekloparia. Lift up your voice and pray. Call that blessing now. Call that blessing now. Sheko kapa kaka ka. Reketeri agada gada. Jesuse rekoteria mendre di deto. Sheko para gaga 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 gaga. Sheko gaga 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 gaga. gaga 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 gaga. I call forth for vengeance upon the camp of the wicked. Any altar, any enchantment fired against my head, against my wife, against my family. I decree by the authority of the world, vengeance of God upon the camp of the enemy, upon their altar. I decree destruction upon their camp. I command hailstones upon their camp. I decree altar destruction. In the name of Jesus, Lego Raga Daga Daga Yaga Dego Bros. And Zunu Teke Prekadeya. Rega Dega 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 Day. I call forth for fresh outpouring of the glory of God. I call forth for fresh outpouring of the mercies of God. I call forth for the fresh outpouring of the blessings of God. Of the blessings of the Spirit. Call it forth. Call it forth. My job, my business will not underproduce. My business, my career, my assignment will produce outstanding results, outstanding favor, outstanding opportunity, outstanding profits. Whatever you want, call it now. Whatever you want to see, call it now. Zekote, Mendituna, Zekokratea, Peladekus. In Zogodo, Lagaregedes, the remaining days of this year will be days of outstanding testimonies, will be days of outstanding favor, will be days of outstanding signs, will be days of outstanding miracles. 
lift up your voice. Begin to declare. Lekotero, Jizunare, Empraba, Rekutata, Jekutata, Pelato, Lagagagagaga. My business will not go down. My business will blues up. My business will multiply. My business will enlarge. My cost of favor will be enlarged. In the name of Jesus, my cost of progress will be enlarged. My cost of success will be enlarged. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lako soto, mekakeko, retona, pelutata, jekukariality, improdono, enzizili, reclupe predio. My prayer altar will carry fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. My prayer altar will carry fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. Resona predio, resona prelio. My head will not fail, my body will not fail. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. I reject. My head will resist enchantment. Declare, declare. My head will resist enchantment. My head will resist divination. My head will resist sorcery. In the name of Jesus. My name will not answer before any covenant. My name will not answer before any witchcraft altar. Lift up your voice. Begin to declare. Rekotari aleto. Zesona kaka kakata. Zekote predi. Imprapa. Lakotero. Jesusako pre. Imprapa. Eruta plenio. Jekloperea. Enzake kata. Rekotare telete. Improlatata. Jekloperata. Rakoto predi. Any power on assignments to fight God's plan and purpose for my life, I curse you in the name of Jesus. I curse you by fire. I curse you by the blood of Jesus. Lekote predi in Zunata Peliaga 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 Ezolakata Jekorataka. You will not be, I will not be short of the blessing. I will not be short of the blessing. I'll be full of the blessing. I'll be full of favor. I'll be full of grace. I'll be full of the help of God. In the name of Jesus, everything about my life will answer to the blessing, will answer to the favor, will answer to the grace of God. Lift up your voice. Declare for your family. Declare for your children. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Whatever you want, call it. From today, you will not be short of the blessing. From today, no one will have an opportunity to pity you. From today, the blessings around your life will compel men to desire to be like you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. I speak to your storehouse. <laughs> I speak to your bank accounts. Be filled. I call forth for the supply of the Spirit. Be filled. I call forth for the supply of the Spirit. Be filled. Whatever has made men to mock you, I speak with prophetic authority and grace. It shall be turned into a testimony. It shall be turned into a testimony. It shall be turned into a testimony. Whatever has limited you now from experiencing the fullness of God's grace, God's favor, I command the barrier to be consumed by fire. Any enemy of the blessing that God has appointed for you, I prophesy over their head. Fall down and die! Because you were made for the blessing. Any power manipulating enchantment over your life. 
I decree, let their invocation fail. Let their source be over your life fail. Let their enchantment over your life fail. He said to Abraham, I mean to Moses and Aaron, in this order, should you bless the children of Israel? I call you blessed. I call you favored. I call you glorified. I call you lifted. I call you successful. I decree forceful progress over your life. I decree amazing increase over your business. You will not be limited. You will not be limited. For your family, I command glory. For your family, let the heavens be open. For your family, let doors of opportunity open. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You will not see shame. You will not know disgrace. But you will not miss the glory. You will not miss the honor. You will not miss your appointed blessing. You will not miss your appointed change of story. The God of Oyere, oh, wipe away your tears. Fill your mouth with amazing laughter. Fill your mouth with amazing laughter. Cause your storehouse to be saturated with the blessing. The testimony of my life. 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 People must hear it. They must see it. Now hear me. Songs also are prophecies. As you are singing it, you are prophesying over yourself. Just like that other song. Everything is turning around for my... It's a prophecy. You are initiating things to turn around. Favor is my name. Even if you are reproached before, you are now calling favor. Overtake the shame. Hear me and hear me well. I have said it. As the Lord liveth before whom I stand, you will remember today, August 25th, 2017, this prophecy will stick to your life. It will answer with evidence in your family. That's your career that is making you look like a mockery. Watch out. People will ask you, how are you doing it? Is this not the cup of blessing which the Lord has blessed? As you partake of this communion, a new dimension of God's blessing answer your life. Make that amen louder. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, as this blood comes upon you, confusion enter in the camp of your enemies. I didn't say it to. He said it. And I know the speaking power of the blood. As this blood of sprinkling comes upon you and drops on the earth, confusion, <laughs> fatal confusion, enter the camp of your enemies. Every arrangement they have made for you. Scripture say in Second Chronicle. When God laid ambushment for them, they began to kill themselves. Hear me as I sprinkle this blood upon you. Your enemies will begin to fight themselves. Your enemies will begin to kill themselves. Fatal confusion will enter their camp. The evil they desire for you begin to backfire against their own head. Say amen like a believer. Whatever they have programmed you for, 
I withdraw your name, I replace their name. If you are saying amen, say a better amen. I withdraw your name, I replace their name. I withdraw your name, I replace their name. Every arrow designed against you, go back by fire. By the blood, I command the arrows of witchcraft. Go back to the camp of the enemy. Any other where they are invoking you, by the blood, I command the arrow to backfire to their camp. If you are saying amen, may better amen. I had it confusion in the camp of the enemies. Their calamity has started this night. Their confusion is starting this night. Devastation is starting in their camp this night. It's not a natural thing, it's a spiritual thing. As it has gone forth from this altar, the God of Oyeriko confirm it one after the other. But for you, but for you, you will not miss the blessing. You will not miss that breakthrough. You will not suffer any spiritual diversion or blessing again. No one of your blessings will be diverted again. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Before Sunday, somebody's good news will be perfected. Somebody's breakthrough will be perfected. Somebody's contract letter will be perfected. Somebody's promotion letter will be perfected. Any power withholding your blessing, I command them to give up on you in the name of Jesus. Anyone appointed to untimely death, I decree, let your enemies go as your ransom. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You will not die before your time. The number of your days, God will fulfill it for you. By the blood and the oil upon your head, a touch not see rest upon you. Your name will not answer to any food. Your name will not answer to any witchcraft altar. It shall be well with you. 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 So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't forget, tomorrow is the last operation. Go. Shall be sweet. Please help me tell everyone around you that you know that let's share the goodness together. Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so.